Good morning, everyone, and welcome back to another YouTube video. I'm heading to Paris. My flights got cancelled yesterday at like 11 p.m., so you know, at like a super convenient time. And then it was gonna assign me to a flight in three days, and I gotta be there tomorrow. So, yeah, I had to find my way from Milan to Paris. I checked trains, because obviously in Europe there's a good railroad, and I was able to find a way from Zurich. Like through Zurich, sorry. So Milan, Zurich, Zurich, Paris. Let's head to the train station and go to Paris. Could be quite scenic though, let's see. Today my work starts officially here for fashion week Also my first time at Paris during like men's fashion week Been also one of my dreams I remember when I started to get into fashion You know, realizing that Paris is the deal for fashion week Ever since that it's always been like I kind of knew that day I'd be at fashion week I'd be doing something Or at least I'd be like attending something that, you know, means something to me So, speaking about meaning something to me And something that I really enjoy Commonware. I'm gonna be here the whole week at Commonware showroom with Giz. So before we even get there, probably give him multiple shout outs again. <laughs> Such a great guy. Anyways, he wanted me to come help out at the showroom. I don't have too much information in a way that I don't know how it's gonna roll. It's a uh, first time I experience anything like this being at a showroom. So yeah, we'll go we'll figure it out together. Soon, the men them are there again. Even the underground system here, like a underground jungle. But at least the cops ain't here. The underground rules. Yeah, so it's like a very lightweight sports fabric. It's been a 
busy time here from place to place, scene to scene. It's only my second day here. Finally was able to get my beloved citron tartalette with the vibes around here. What a great experience really to be able, you know, to be in the showroom, see how like uh, the fashion world moves, how brands develop, how brands do business. And you know, even just like relationship wise, how you really get around to people and what kind of people, it really is the most important thing, you know, having good relationships. Amazing experience for me all in all. And it's crazy to be here like, you know, a full week that it's not like just an absolutely hectic like like two days or something different experiences and um, different vibes a lot to still happen and looking forward to it when i'm working here obviously i'm using the common wear clothes gizmo and val just left to go some other showrooms or other places they need to be so i'm gonna be running the show here for an hour but i'm still in my own clothes so let's get dressed it's so warm now that i just wear a t-shirt and pants i wore these yesterday these ones I'm tempted in the other color or these this is the Loro Piano one I think I'll try the grey ones first Check me out. they're one size too big definitely yeah. like slightly too long I'll try these as well I don't wanna, you know, ruin the end part. Okay, now we're talking. He's also hot, bro. to leave the airbnb i'm gonna be staying the last few days at my friend's place but first work today is coming important buyers let's go have a fun day at the showroom and yeah enjoy paris once again <laughs> check out one other showroom and one fashion show.
show you guys a few other brands that are in the showroom. One of them was the one whose show we went to check out yesterday. So I'll give you guys like a point of view look. Next is the brand that we were at the show. Crazy clothes, crazy, crazy clothes, a lot of nice brands. Also, like, here's, here's good, I believe you wore this today here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> So it's the last day at the showroom, the first time you guys meet Gizmo. Haven't had a chat on the YouTube. So just quickly before we have to pack, yes. <laughs> always yeah. running late. If you want to show around like a few of your favorite pieces. Yeah, for sure. Um, but before I start, thank you so just for helping me at the showroom. Being a great help. I uh, appreciate it. I know it's been a tough, long seven days. <laughs> well, my favorite piece is I mean, there's a lot of favorites, but I would say this is the blazer that I have on right now. For sure, is one of my favorites. Because I don't really wear a lot of blazers, but I feel like I've worn this blazer only. <laughs> like only this blazer, and it's very, it's very like cool, but like casual at the same time and formal. So I think we could have did a good capture of that. Um, this denim pants is also a the denim set itself. The whole denim set itself is a one of our favorites as well. Yeah, there's been a few people who've come and tried that on, and yeah, they've looked look insanely amazing, good so. with it. And among the trousers, I would just say, like individually, maybe like like this version would be a favorite. I would say it's just draped so nicely. Uh, it's a perfect for spring summer, so I think those would be the top three, I would say. Um, other than that, price and the ones you're wearing as well. Yes, but these are from last season. I introduced it from last season, so these are these are like that uh, fits so nice with the shoes. Mm. The demons, yeah. Don't sleep on the demons. Blowing up soon. Get it straight from Milan. Yes, Slam jam. On That's sale. it. Yeah, Perfect that's where you can buy. get it. So, um, no. but yeah, other than that, Paris Fashion Week is over. And uh, let's go home. Let's go home. Let's go home. Time to go back home. Back to Milan. What a week it was, for real. I'll talk more about it when I get home, everything settles down. 
I'll go through the whole week. Early airport, yes sir. It's been a hectic couple weeks, just finished moving, new place, lots of things are gonna start rolling out. The moving process is quite stressful at the end of the day, like you know, finding a place and moving in Milan, definitely not the cheapest things to do. But I couldn't be more happy about the space that we got, area is absolutely beautiful. Gonna be continuing life in Milan, that's an update. I'll maybe at some point give you guys a little tour how the place looks. That's not why we're sitting here talking. It's maybe the excuse for the slight delay of this video. I have to shout out Gizmo and Val for having me. Generally amazing people. Like, you know, it's humbling to see people doing so nice work and still so down to earth. I'll always continue to give them praise since genuinely they're doing amazing stuff. We're here to talk what I would call my favorite fashion brand. And I gotta address at this point, I'm, I'm their European ambassador, so... And I'm not paid to say any of these things. Honestly, to me it's so cool is that I genuinely just started like supporting the brand. I always looked up to Gizmo and what he did, and his style, how his style evolved. And then, while I was buying their stuff, he just kind of started supporting me back. You know, crazy to me that I started off as like a customer and just gen just really you know enjoying the clothes that they made and through that we established like you know a personal connection absolutely honored to be their european ambassador as i mentioned earlier in in the video it was a dream of mine to be able to be a part of paris fashion week in a way that was meaningful to me and i think that pretty much straight up correlates to why it is my favorite brand because fashion at the end of the day should mean something to everyone. Like, you know, if you're just buying logos and just flexing, you know, that's a reason still. It means something to you. That's a reason of why you're doing something, if that makes sense. Like every time that I've worn a common wear piece, it's always elevated my outfit. Whatever way it was, if it was a jacket, the jacket just stood out. If it was the hood, the hood just like tied the outfit together. I was always like also pairing up common wear with like different kinds of brands. When I always, when I added to the common wear piece into an outfit, it always just made it look different. It always made it stand out more. I want to add what my favorite pieces were of their spring summer 24 collection. Number one is the blazer that Gizmo wore. And also, the grey suit, I posted an ins Instagram pic of me wearing it. Just crazy nice fit. And then I'd say, from pants, Calm Aware just knocks it straight home with all their pants. There is kind of like a pair for everyone's style, like if you like baggier clothes, like for example the denim pants that have the mechanical lock system. And then if you like something more drapey, they were my favorite pants. The more drapey ones, the more like and a slim, straight, but flowy fit. The black ones, I'd say, from pants, they were my favorite. And honestly, their first bag that they ever made was this season, and it's perfect for everyone's use. You can fit a MacBook in it, you know. The design is great, the functionality of the strap is great. So I'd say to honestly anyone, even if like you wouldn't personally buy calm wear clothes. The bag is for everyone. And honestly, I don't want to even make this part too long because I don't feel like I need to explain myself too much why calm wear is my favorite brand. Because if you go through my IG, 
and you see the fits I wear come wear. You can scroll down like, you know, ever since the green hood, I've been constantly wearing calm wear. And I don't think there's one bad fit. It was a great honor to be a part of the calm wear showroom. And you guys will continue seeing calm wear pieces in my channel. And most likely, the growth of the company because it's for sure gonna go places. Now I'm gonna edit the last bit of this. Next video, I'll showcase some of my pickups I've made. Soon, I'll be releasing fall winter clothing for my website, obviously, that will be added into the channel. I'll show, show you guys the process. Come wear fall winter 24 stuff also coming soon, so stay tuned with everything and see you guys in a week or two. We'll have to see.